people want you on their board because you've grown a company from 20 million to 100 million. I'm curious, like, I mean, obviously, we're, it's some of it's built into us, right? We're, we're taught to go to college, we're taught to get the degree, we're taught to, uh, you know, go to, to, to law school or whatever it is, all of those things, the traditional, traditional ways of doing things. Um, and what's the, I guess, best kept secret to, to helping, um, you know, either parents who are teaching their children or even themselves to, to reach out and be independent and, and take risk and, and go for it, be an entrepreneur? So the, the number one thing that I've heard from all of the people that I've coached, as well as those that, um, that I've mentored earlier in their careers, is they didn't even know these paths existed, right? They didn't even know that they could go after this, the big money. They didn't know how to become a board director. And so most people that I speak to are in their 50s saying, hey, I have this great advice. I want to get on a board. Well, it's frankly, it's too late <clears throat> because you need to, people want you on their board because you've grown a company from 20 million to 100 million. So you've got that P&L experience and then they want to grow their company from 10, 20 million to 100 million and then they get you on your on their board. And so a lot of these careers that lead to 100 million and there's something also that I call the the money flywheel that you want to get in the center of but a lot of them you need to know early enough. And so you need to know that you that, that that's something that you've got to do, right? You need to know that you need to move from breaking into building equity and you don't, don't just start getting more and more comfortable in the, in the career that you've initially broken into, that, that you need to get over your fears and make that move. But you can't know that. You can't fight your fears if you don't know the path and the map of where you're moving to next. I've heard where there is no vision that people perish, right? And I feel like where there's no vision, your careers or the potential for your uh, your careers and the impact and the the money you can make, the people you can help, the dreams that you have perish, right? So if you don't even have a vision, if what I'm hearing correctly, for the even possibility of an alternative, more entrepreneurial path, it's probably never going to get there. You're going to get stuck in the, the startup, which leads into uh, st staying in the break-in, right? Versus